Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? And now, ladies and gentlemen, two undefeated heavyweights will clash. The waiting's over. Please welcome to the ring from Inverness, Scotland, the Highlander. Gary Cornish say one of his great qualities is his temperament. Nothing phases him, nothing bothers him. He is walking into a very hostile arena tonight. So I wonder if that temperament is going to be tested. History also against him. Scotland does not produce heavyweights. No Scottish boxer has ever boxed for a British, European or Commonwealth heavyweight title. This man is the first. He's undefeated. He's come. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Watford, England, the undefeated AJ Anthony
It's tagged. Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Hearn's match on sport now proudly presents the fight of the night, the main event, where two undefeated heavyweights, somebody's O, has to go. Welcome to the O2 Honda! So, Eddie Hearn's match on sport now proudly presents 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant Commonwealth and the WBC International Heavyweight Championship. Sponsored by Daffabet, StubHub and Scott's Menswear. Ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands in attendance and the millions that are joining us around the world, this is Heavy Duty! A very warm welcome to the viewers joining us live on Sky Sports. You have, without a shadow of a doubt, joined us for the very best ringside seat in the business. All the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control, the Commonwealth Council and the World Boxing Council. Commonwealth representative is Robert Smith, WBC representative and supervisor Mauro Betti of Roma, Italy. And our steward in charge from the British Boxing Board of Control is Mr. Mick Collier. Area representatives are Desri and Bill Edwards. And working the red and blue corners are John Lockwood and Brett Bowles. Timekeeper at the bell from Ricelip, Peter McCann. And the three judges in charge of scoring this contest are Ian John Lewis of Gillingham, John Keane of Wellingborough, and Bob Williams of Watford. And when the bell rings and the action begins, the man in the middle, the man in charge, is Mr. Victor Lachlan of Paisley, Scotland. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a moment. to the ring as the undefeated IBO Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion from Inverness, Scotland, where he is known as the Highlander, Gary Corley. And now, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks, Weighing in at 17 stone, 11 pounds, 3 ounces, with a perfect professional record of 13 contests, 13 wins, 13 inside the scheduled distance. Comes to the ring as a two-time ABA champion and the winner of the Olympic gold medal in the heavyweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the reigning and defending WBC International Heavyweight Champion from Watford, England. It's AJ Anthony Joshua. Time the waiting's over. Here we go. Twelve rounds of boxing for the vacant Commonwealth and the WBC International. Okay, boys, had instructions in the restroom. Remember, obey my commands at all time, defend yourselves at all time. God bless, touch clubs. Let's do it. Victor Lachlan absolutely dwarfed by these two big beasts. 35 stone of power in that ring. The one thing everybody has agreed upon. 
three scoring judges will not be needed tonight. It's scheduled for 12. It won't go that long. First round. And how does Gary Cornish cope with the biggest night of his career? A joiner by trade, same as Ken Buchanan. He's been given six weeks off by his company to prepare for this. He's had a good camp in Inverness. They brought in the French heavyweight, Newfell Uwata. They brought up Richard Towers from Sheffield. The reports out of the camp were that it went very well indeed. But that was training camp. This is the real thing, live bullets. I think Conn has just felt the power and the punches there of Joshua. He partially blocked it, but he felt the power. But it's good to see Joshua in against an opponent who has ambitions of his own, and whose career is on the way up and not on the way down. Looking for the body there, Joshua, with a straight right hand. Ah. Joshua looking very sharp. Here he nails it with a right hand inside the first minute. Cornish down, looking at his corner on one knee. It's the power, but it's the speed as well. Cornish didn't see it coming. He get caught with a solid jab just before the right hand, and that set him up for it. And the legs have turned to rubber already. Joshua biding his time, and then unloading again at Cornish. Looking unsteady, Joshua looking to measure him up. Could this be gone in the first? He's caught him with another right hand. And Cornish is in desperate trouble already. Now, the technique that Joshua is showing at the moment is terrific. You wouldn't believe only a dozen fights. And it's over. It's all over in 90 seconds. Anthony Joshua's biggest test on paper has turned into his quickest win. What can you say about Anthony Joshua? Well, a blistering to, performance. You have to say that any heavyweight that's caught clean by Joshua is going to be on the canvas. He has tremendous natural punching power and his development has been outstanding. So the only thing when he moves up to, to proper world class, can he face someone who can get their bombs on before he does? But I tell you what, it'd have to be quick, because as you've just mentioned, it's the speed as well as the power. But I just think the way he's developing is really tremendous. Well, it's that speed that did it. 49 seconds in, Gary Cornish did not see this one coming and never was able to recover. See, he took the, the left hand there, which you could see steadied him a little bit. He felt that one. And then, bang, overcame the right hand. Full credit to Cornish getting up from that, because that really was a solid shot that put him on the floor. He showed bags of courage, he got up again after the second knockdown, but there was no point allowing that to continue. But you can see the natural power that Joshua has. He doesn't have to wind the punches up. Everything just seems to flow from him. Perfect balance, perfect delivery, and the perfect finish. So full credit, as I say, to Cornish. He got back up off the floor, tried to get himself back into the fight, but every time Joshua landed, whether it be with the left hand or the right hand, it was knocking him onto his heels. I mean, look at the power and, and the jab there. Trying just to, to survive the crisis. But down the way, that was from the accumulation of the punches. That wasn't from one single shot. But when he got back up, his legs were unsteady and there was no point allowing it to continue. The, the writing was on the wall by that time. It really was. And the potential of Anthony Joshua, truly frightening. The critics will say, yeah, he's not faced anyone yet, and they'll say that again tonight. But for old Gary Cornish, this was a massive night for him, and he put so much work into it, and he was just blown away in 90 seconds. And you just wonder how many heavyweights in the world right now would you put ahead of Anthony Joshua? And I wonder what Dylan White at ringside made of that. We can now look forward to that meeting on December the 12th. Ladies and gentlemen, time keto Peter McCann has recorded a time of one minute, 
and 37 seconds of the first round. Referee Victor Lachlan has stopped the contest with Cornish in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner and the new Commonwealth and still the WBC International Heavyweight Champion from Watford, England, AJ Anthony Joshua! Now, well, Betty presents the WBC title belt. And Mick Collier from the Boxing Board of Control presents the Commonwealth. Ladies and gentlemen, we present your champion. Wow. So Anthony Joshua dispatches Gary Cornish, his 14th straight victim to claim Commonwealth honours. We'll hear from Joshua next and get the thoughts of our guest pundit and bitter domestic rival Dillian White straight after the break. Here at the O2, we've just witnessed Ask Anthony Joshua continue with exciting assault on the heavyweight division, blitzing Gary Cornish in the first round to claim his first major title and set up a mouth-watering clash with old amateur rival Dillian White. Let's get Joshua's thoughts. He's with Ed. Well, Anthony, congratulations. That was supposed to be your toughest test today. In the end, it was your quickest win. Did that all go perfectly to plan for you? Most definitely. There's no extra time, but credit to Gary where credit is due big man, had a solid jab, so I made sure I dealt with that early on, and I didn't rush anything. It's a 12-round fight, so I weren't trying to dish it all out in the first round, but I managed to catch him with some shots that were painful and get the job done. The onslaught all started with that perfect counter right hand. Correct, that's what I mean, so he was throwing a long, heavy, solid jab, so I just tried to slip on the outside of it and not start eating the jabs early on, and as I managed to land the right hand, it was a perfect connection, and uh, he, he went tumbling down. And then he jumped on him straight away. That's what you got to do, you know, because if I leave it, start taking my time, it could be me on the end of them blows uh, five rounds later or so. The pressure is on you. There's a lot of publicity and a massive entrance this evening. But what about the reception you got here at the O2? Listen, it's unbelievable, man. Like, this is what you do it for. I'm locked away. When I'm not fighting, I live a simple lifestyle. I'm in the gym. I ride my motorbikes when I can and play a bit of PlayStation. And besides that, I come out here and I get to display in front of all these wonderful people what we've been working on in the gym, so thank you for everyone. Dylan White, your amateur rival at ringside. Did you get a chance to see his fight earlier? I didn't get to watch it. I was warming up, focusing on my bout, but I heard he got the win, so December 12th seems to definitely be on. Do you have a message for him at ringside? I'm just glad that he got the W, really, because it should have been us tonight. We were scheduled to fight September 12th, but he wanted a bit more time, so, so be it. December 12th, the date's set, and... Uh, What's he, international silver champ, I'm Commonwealth champ, and we'll both fight for the British and move on from there. He beat you, it was a long time ago, I'm sure you want to put the record straight. Is there any relevance in that amateur win? Oh, of course, of course, it's so relevant, so relevant. He's 1-0, you know, it's my chance to get it back, even the score. And uh, this is the beautiful thing about boxing, we've got so many weeks now to get strong, get fit, get our mind in the right place, and we'll be back here at the O2 to dust up again in front of all these wonderful people. That's a word with promoter Eddie Hearn. Is that definitely the plan now? December 12th, signed and sealed? 100% that's signed. Uh, Anthony Joshua fight Dylan White for the British and Commonwealth titles here on December the 12th. It's a great fight, you know, two undefeated fights. First of all, respect to Gary Cornish. You know, he's 21 and 0. He didn't have to take that fight tonight. Not enough undefeated fighters step up. There's another man down there that's willing to do it. This fight's going to excite a lot of people. A lot of people. It's two very, very talented heavyweights stepping up for the British and Commonwealth. We're going to end the year with something very special here at the O2. Anthony, Commonwealth champion this evening, but you must be very excited about the chance to win the British belt, the traditional route. Well, when I first turned pro, you know, it was a bit of a, it was a massive decision and I finally got there. And when I sat down with Eddie, I said, look, I'd love to fight for the Commonwealth, the British title, the European the world title potentially, and these are all dreams that I had, so one by one, I'm just slowly fulfilling that prophecy I made in 2013. Well done. Thank you. And he's still clearly... <laughs> Face the camera. <laughs> Anthony uh, clearly remembers that uh, you two have got a score to settle, impressed by the performance. Yeah, it was a good performance, listen. Um... You don't like saying that, do you? <laughs> no, no, I don't mind saying it. Credit where credit's due. It was a good performance. He did exactly what I said he was going to do. I said he would walk for Cornish in the round, and that's what he do. I think any heavyweight in the top ten to watch you go Cornish tonight. Any of us. 
What was you? Was you impressed with anything that Anthony did in that game? He did exactly what, what everybody knew he can do. He can punch a bit. He's, he's got speed, and um, you know, he, he did exactly what everybody knew he's, know he can do. Conscious, taller, heavier, uh, longer, stronger. What makes you think you could do? Uh, Anti that Because yeah. I'm a machine. That's why. That's simple. Yeah. Do performances like that put any sort of fear into you? Do they? Do you know? It was a long time ago when you beat them. Do you? Do you now look and think, whoa, this is. It's, no. it's a bigger mountain. It's one thing I have, listen, I ain't scared of nobody. All I gotta do is go to camp, prepare myself right, and listen to what my coach say, work on things, and come back here and knock him out. That's all, I don't fear the, no the, man. The, the power, the power is impressive though. Every heavyweight's got power though. You should know that. That kind of power? Every heavyweight. Every heavyweight's, every heavyweight's, Mike Tyson had, had a lot of power and he still lost. 